In this video we're going to show you how to stain a uh, polyacrylamide SDS page gel that we have run in the BioRad electrophoresis system. So we can see here this is the gel system. The first step is to take off the cover um, after the electrophoresis has been completed. And once we take off the cover what we will do is to decant the electrophoresis buffer either in the sink or in this beaker like we see here. Being careful to make sure that the inner part of the electrophoresis system does not fall out. Once we have that done we will remove the inner part of the of the gel system. We will open up the doors of the support and that will release uh, the inner part where the gel is. So we'll lift this up and then take the gel out And then we can store the electrophoresis system to wash it later. Okay, so now our gel has run. We can see here uh, the front of the gel is down towards the bottom where this blue line, that's where the bromphenol blue in the loading buffer has run down to the bottom. And you can also see on the side the pre-stained uh, molecular weight markers here. In this well. So these are pre-stained and that's why the, we can see them now. Our, our samples, our protein samples are not stained and that's why we don't see anything. We just see the where the gel front ran down to. So now what we have to do is to remove the gel from between the two glass plates. You can do this several ways. There's um, a spatula that comes with the BioRed system or you can just uh, use your, your fingers. So basically you just uh, get in between the two plates and just pull up and then take off the, the top plate, the small plate, and then we have our gel. So uh, normally we remove the stacking gel because it's very sticky. Uh, it, can, it can break and, and pull on the rest of the gel. So usually we just uh, use the short plate, turn it sideways, the thin way, and basically press down uh, to cut off what is the stacking gel. Okay, so you can, you'll be able to see the, the border between the stacking gel and the, and the resolving gel. So you just basically take this glass plate and push down and, and literally cut off the stacking gel. And then you can use the glass plate to push it off uh, to discard it. And then now what we want to do is to transfer our resolving gel where our proteins have been separated uh, into this uh, plastic box where we're going to do the staining. So again, you could use the green spatula or you can use uh, the small glass plate to transfer the gel into the box. So what we do is to um, turn the, the gel over and uh, set it on top of uh, the box where we, wanted to, we want to do the staining. We take the small plate and with the corner we just go in between the glass plate and the gel and basically just kind of pull down a little bit until the gel falls into the box. Okay, so now we have transferred the gel to the box and now it's ready for staining. So we'll keep the plates over here until we have a chance to wash them. And then we're going to use um, a staining solution. In this case, it's called One Step Blue. And you can also use Comassi, for example. Um, so we put this One Step Blue stain onto the gel. But we can see right away that we didn't mix well enough the, the One Step Blue. So uh, we need to mix this better. So we're going to discard this this one step blue solution because it was not mixed well. Uh, mix well the solution very well by inverting and now we can apply the mix solution to our gel. This will stain much better of course. Okay so we just put in enough to cover the gel and make sure that it's covered and then we put it onto uh, a rocker and we will incubate that uh, for 15 to 20 minutes. So just make sure that the rocker is uh, not going too fast. You just want it to uh, gently move and make sure that the, the stain is, is in contact with the whole gel. So now that 20 minutes has gone by, we take our, our gel off of the rocker. We're going to discard the, the stain solution by decanting it into the beaker. And it's better to uh, hold on to the gel so it doesn't fall into the beaker as well. 
and then in this case with the one uh, with this staining solution you the washes are with water uh, depending on your staining system your your destaining solution will be of different compositions with this one it's very convenient it's, it's just uh, milliQ water so just rinse the gel off um, press down slightly onto the corner of the gel and uh, not a lot of pressure just enough to hold on to it and then you can just decant uh, the water off and now we have our gel is washed and then we can just take it out um, of the box and, and put it on uh, to this plastic sheet so basically just lift up one corner of the gel and just lift it out of the box and, and we can put it onto this plastic sheet so we can show you the staining, the gel staining so again you can see now on the left hand side the pre-stained markers as we saw before but we can also see now in the next three lanes uh, the staining of our different uh, protein uh, uh, samples.